Ubisoft is in the news once again, folks, as there's more news breaking in the unfolding saga that is Quartz, their platform for NFTs. Recently, developers have had a lot to say in an article published about Ghost Recon Breakpoints, more specifically a workshop held to address their concerns that apparently fell a little bit short of the intended mark. One way or another, this has a lot of implications, less so because of Quartz itself, more so because of what the developer's statements were for not only future Ubisoft titles, of course, with the Quartz being able to expand into other games, but the future of the game's into in general if we see the trend with nfts continue to be adopted by other developers so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at what they had to say it was recently revealed via Kotaku that following a workshop put together to address concerns about the company's ventures into crypto, developers working on Ghost Recon Breakpoint were given a commemorative hats for the series' 20th anniversary. Except, yeah, you guessed it, they're not real hats. They're NFTs for digital hats. And again, NFTs themselves are not the digital item. They are a receipt verifying ownership of said digital item. Anyway, as interesting an anecdote as that is, more interesting are some of the comments made by developers, which highlight that the rift between Ubisoft executives and the development team is similar to the one between Ubisoft and the public. While Nicholas Poard, VP of Ubisoft's Strategic Innovations Lab, tried to sell the possibilities that crypto could offer them on a mechanical level, it doesn't seem to have worked. One common feature advocates of crypto's integration into video games bring up is the possibility of transferring items across games. If you own a gun or a skin in one game, in theory you could bring it to another because your ownership isn't attached to the game. Except this is a point that even he admits isn't actually possible right now, it's just speculative. And the actual people who will be tasked with making that a reality are not really on board. And there's a number of reasons why that's such a difficult thing to manage and might not be a possibility or at the very least, isn't something that NFTs actually make any easier to do, and it certainly is already hard, but that's a story for another time. One developer told Kotaku in reference to everything that was on display here, it's three to four years of work for an auction house. You know what, I remember an interview from not too long ago where Parade made the controversial statement that gamers just didn't get what NFTs could do for them. And for the sake of fairness, the article does note that English is not Nicholas's first language, but it's hard to imagine that the sentiment doesn't stand when given the context. Breakpoint was Ubisoft's flagship title for Quartz, the first game to implement the platform and show off how it could be used, and it hasn't exactly done well. It's gotten some negative reviews for the game quality itself, some of the features implemented, some of the features it doesn't have, but certainly there's a lot of bad press just based on general disdain for the integration of NFTs. Just take a look at this tweet from Skillup on Twitter, responding to Stephen Teltilo, a reporter for Axios. In Stephen's tweet, you can see the wolf-enhanced helmet exclusively available to those who sank over 600 hours into Ghost Recon, a lofty time sink that could, as he states, push up the value for resale, one of the primary motivations for NFT holders. Skillup responds with some heavy criticism. Ubisoft's first NFTs highlight how bad all this is. 600 hours to earn an NFT. Now crypto bros will just AFK bot to farm hours so they can collect their helmet. UE wins because they can book these metrics as increased monthly active users, even though it's all pumped up by this garbage. Too bad if you want this helm, but you don't have 600 hours to play, or you don't set up a bot, or you miss out because of digital scarcity. At that point, you can buy it on the open market for who knows, maybe a few bucks, maybe a few thousand, and UB takes a cut of that sale. And that, for a lot of folks, is the verdict right now. Ubisoft benefits from this by taking a slice of big money transactions, even if they're minimally beneficial, or worse yet, actively harmful for devs or gamers. Whether or not that's what Ubi's intent is, that's what people are picking up right now. Developers are worried about putting in years of hard work only to create games built to be a tool for inflating the value of an asset and not games, meaning that the quality of the actual content could be lackluster. And a breakpoint is any indication that may have been exactly the case. If Ubisoft keeps up their intent to push forward with Quartz despite the backlash, which seems to be the case so far, they'll no doubt continue to hear about it from the public, and apparently from their own developers. And so as you folks out there in the comment section are the public, I turn the question over to you. How do you feel about all this? Do you feel like Ubisoft is going to push on ahead with Quartz despite all the backlash? Will they still see the dollar signs in their eyes, or will they finally give up the ghost? No pun intended. One way or another, do you also think that this is going to spread to other developers? We've had many other game devs tease doing NFTs and then backtrack when there's a lot of backlash, but Ubisoft appears to be one that is sticking to their guns, at least so far. One way or another, you let me know how you're feeling about this in the comment section down below, and I will let you know when there is any more news on this or any related subjects, of course. In the meantime, though, that's all I've got for you for one video. Thank you for joining once again, so have yourselves a wonderful day.